Hey guys, um, a demonstration video for Minecraft Java 1192 Phil Helsier 510. Down here at my new attraction, Bet's Tea House at midnight. Very nice. We have a beer garden, of course, we have our mandatory signage, it's mandatory, for our Jay's fish shop and our Ted's hardware, blacksmith, Ted's blacksmith, I shouldn't say hardware because that's actually a thing here, um, anyway, so you can go inside and it's um, an implementation of my vending machine interface. With um, with some tea brewing and apple pie crafting equipment, it's um. I thought this might be a simple test to implement my uh, interface that I recently developed for a vending machine. We've got stuff in there already. Black tea, yellow tea, and two apple pies. So, so I have to remember that. So anyway, so um, I've been testing it. I forgot to clear it for this video. Oops. But anyway, we will we'll persist. Uh, it's green. I'm not a green tea. Okay. So what we can do is place an order. We want to modify our order. We will have pie. Apple pie is the only pie that we have. Modify would say drink this time. We'll have green tea. And now we confirm our order. And it's going to be prepared. You can hear it in the background there. There's an apple pie, and there's our green tea. Order 108. Okay, so there's a few tricky things about this. The kettle is difficult to automate. I've looked at that before. You can only um, put things in certain ways, and I've used the computer, of course, to and attach it to a modem so I can control the inputs completely you have Im standard inventory items here and these come in from the side and you need water as well which I'm putting in from the top and you need to use buckets on it it's the only way to get water into our kettle that I found and uh, so I have deployers using buckets and a whole system of filling buckets here um, which is a little bit quick and dirty because I'm using the mecha uh, mechanism transporters to get them on and off and um, there is some overflow and it's just a little bit nasty at the moment. You can see a bucket here floating and uh, I haven't added everything up. It doesn't buffer like a like a create funnel or whatever it is that I would need to actually come off this properly. Um, so I need exact counts, but anyway. And of course, um, I have the crafter connected to a modem as well for the apple pies. Um, the interface for the, um, vending machine is rather complex. It takes as much space as the other two machines. It is enormous, really, but that's the best way I could do it to reduce it down to these buttons for the interface. I've already gone that over that in another video, but um, um, here is the service machine, the computer, and the monitor and the modems connecting it together. It has to be away from there. I can't... Well, 
it, it has to because I need the redstone signals as well uh, to control it. So uh, it's kind of stuck with having to be out there and all this like this laid out like this. Um, but anyway. Um, it's still not too bad and it works really well. Um, I think I think that's about all I want to look at in this video. Um, I don't... I was thinking I might cover the code, but... Um, I've already looked at it in the investigation, the introduction video, and it's probably really not that significantly different. Um, in fact, it's it's really not very different. It took me m minutes to modify the code um, for each of the machines. I just had to have two implementations, two two machines running deliver, um, and instead of just the one, because um, they're operating two different machines, they just um, work on different uh, fields from the uh, older detail that is transmit by modem and they both pick up the message and they both process it differently oh well, much the same but just um, different differently depending on the values passed in um, yes so that is what I wanted to cover I'm just going to have a look at the signage again it's really quite pretty oh Bet's, Bet's Tea House. Thanks for watching.